We're on Twatch, streaming like twats. Anyway, uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm at this a bit late today. I meant to stream this a lot earlier, uh, but um, I got caught up and stuff. Some stuff came up, so I had to postpone the stream for about an hour. I meant to do it uh, at like two o'clock when I woke up, but well, I mean, I woke up a while before that, but I needed to needed time to wake up. Oh, to get up proper and oh shit everything's flooding people are millions are dead now sonic adventure oh my god you here's the thing this opening brings back so many fucking memories of my childhood when i like i first turned on this game i first played it on the pc it was like the two disc one to install one to play it thing and oh my god and then like you, I just saw this and was like, what the fuck? And it was just so cool. Oh, man. Because this was also um, the first time I played a Sonic game after uh, Sonic 3. Because I played um, Sonic 3 I had on the PC as well. Sonic, uh, no, not Sonic 3, Sonic and Knuckles. And I played that right before this. So this was the next Sonic game I played. And needless to say, as a kid, this was amazing. Oh, fucking Gamma. Gamma is awesome. And, and then there's him. There's Pig. Oh, this opening is so classic. I, I will admit, this is a strong opening cutscene for a game. Like, I mean, kind of. Like, you know, the before the, you even press start or anything. That is pretty strong. That's a strong way to start up a game. Oh, but you'll see. Things, uh... Select a fire. Much like many Sonic games of this generation, things take a turn for the worst ha about halfway through. But, um, we'll get there. We'll get there when we get there. Let's start off with the fun stuff. Select a character. Oh, listen to that jam. Those sweet, sick, satanic jams. I mean, Sonic jams. Not satanic, I swear. Sorry, I have to do something real quick. I gotta check up my... My sweet, sweet, uh... I actually gotta go, uh, watch the stream to get the chat going. Sorry, uh, I didn't have that set up yet. I apologize. And now time to share to, you know, Twitter and shit. I can start this up in the meantime. Let's get him! Get him, Sonic, with your sweet station sc Oh, That's the thing, I see footage of, in like GIFs and shit when posted of Station Square. I hear this song every time I see pictures and shit of Station Square. It's just burned in with that image. Oh yeah! Also like this the way this happening. game is structured. Like, you play through Sonic's story, and every character's story is told separately. Uh, I kind of like the way that's structured. It's, uh, it, it just feels nice, you know what I mean? What's up? Voice acting isn't good, though. I mean, that was a staple of this generation of Sonic games. Voice acting was awful. Except for uh, the voice actor of Eggman in this game, and then the, later, when Mike Pollock came in to voice Eggman in Shadow the Hedgehog, he also did really good. So they were like the only two, uh, only people who voiced anyone good was the voices of Eggman throughout this generation. <laughs> that was it. That was only good. There's no gunshots. You don't even hear the sound of them. They're silent. They're, I remember distinctly hearing gunshots oh no. before. Wow, great Fire. read there, buddy. Oh man, but... Oh yeah! This could be fun! I'm having fun. Let's, let's fucking play this. I remember first playing this game as a kid, and this was a great way starting off. Just like, oh, immediately jumping in. First boss fight against this water guy who's mysterious and was like, what the hell? You know, this was cool. I always loved that. I, I really did hate the chaos wasn't even in fucking Sonic Forces. 
like they advertised it with him and I was hoping we'd get like a a callback to this you know when we see him but no we didn't even get that like it would have been cool to just have a callback to this moment where like chaos appeared and it was just like and then you had to fight him like this again and then like you know because you still have to find out that the phantom ruby is doing all this weird shit and then he's not real. So you could have had a boss fight with this, and then he transforms into like his second form, and all the other forms you faced every time hey, you damage him. You he transforms time. into a new form with all the different emeralds. It's like, how is he doing that? He doesn't have the Chaos Emeralds. That would have been a cool way to build up the Phantom Ruby a little more, and just a cool way to do it. I, seriously, I could really have written a better plot line, and every event could have been better if I was directing that fucking game. And I think that's sad. Me, with no Come experience on, in game trip. design, other going? than playing video games, could have di could have directed the game in a better direction than the team that made the fucking game. And that's not to say I hate Sonic Forces. I really hate that it was so disappointing. Because it wasn't bad, per se. It was very disappointing. And it could have been so much better. So, like, it never had anything that was done properly. You know nothing, you know. fool! It's chaos! The god of destruction! Sadly, this is the best uh, voice actor in this game. <laughs> the, yeah, the old voice of Eggman was like the best voice actor in Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. And I think again in Sonic Heroes, too. Because <laughs> by Sonic Heroes, he wasn't replaced by Mike Pollock, but uh, the voice of Sonic was replaced uh -huh. by the guy who did it in the Sonic X show by that point. Everyone was replaced by the people who what? did it in the show, Tails? except for Mike Pollock in Sonic Heroes. Watch out! You're gonna crash! Ah! <laughs> uh, this classic game. Tails. I love this uh, game. Like, what am I gonna do with you? God damn. I know it's not the best. It has not aged well. But honestly, this was a great game at the time. Like, and I still love it for what it is. Especially since the levels, I think the level design in this uh, is better than... Is better on average than uh, Sonic Adventure 2. And what I mean by that is, while well, Sonic Adventure 2 City Escape and stuff are far better than like like this, like City Escape, Radical Highway, that's way better than the, what this game has. And the controls are more tight. But the problem is, the majority, the ma there are much more amount of good levels in this game than there are in Sonic Adventure 2. And, uh, no, I'm not going to be 100%ing this game, just so you know, because, uh, I'm not the kind of person who wants to. I I've never 100%ed this game because gathering all the emblems is a fucking pain in the ass. And, uh, yeah, I just want to play through. I don't know how long I'll be straight- No! I always forget about that glitch. Yeah, there's that one part in the wall that isn't, uh, uh, done properly. It's like a glitch you'll fall for once, and then you'll likely remember it for the rest of the times. So yeah, try to stay as far to the right as po—I mean, left as possible during that part. I've played so much of this game that like a lot of this shit is second nature to me. Like I know to jump there just to make sure that the uh, oh this scene was awesome as a kid. Oh. Uh, Man, but you see why I love this game. Anyway. Sorry about the fuck. Whatever. Anyway, um... But yeah, like, uh... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I didn't expect that. Yeah, because the controls are not nearly as tight as they were in Sonic Adventure 2. This game does not have as tight of controls, so in that area, they did improve. But I feel like the level design for, like, Emerald Coast, uh, Twinkle Park, these kind of levels were better designed. There was more better level design in this game than there was in Sonic Adventure 2, but just overall level design. Because, like, this, this is designed so well. Look at that. Oh, man. Maybe I should livestream Sonic World if, I'm, if I have time after this. The Sonic World fan game. That game, um, it's pretty fun. It has a lot of glitches and problems, but for me, made by just a group of fans, like, and trying to emulate the 3D Sonic kind of thing, it does a lot of good stuff, because it brings in the drift mechanics from the modern Sonic games 
into a modern Sonic, into an Adventure Jam st Sonic style, which is good because that never was really done, and it fits really well in the way they did it. And I honestly really would love to see a 3D Sonic game done like that. And because especially the amount of freedom and just the amount of characters you can play as, I want to see that kind of shit done in a 3D Sonic game. I don't know. But yeah, like, this has been a, the, this game was a major part of my childhood, so. I remember how cool that felt as a kid to be doing that. Jumping from thing to thing, it was like, oh, that's so cool. And then Sonic 06 ruined it. Like, nobody liked it in Sonic 06. Uh, bitch, what? <laughs> okay, I've never had that one happen before. I've played this game- I've played this game to completion at least five times. Well, not 100% completion, but like, I've beaten this game five times and never once had that glitch happen. And replayed this level more times than I can count. Because I replayed this game a lot as a kid. So, not only did I beat the game five times, I replayed a bunch of levels after I beat it, so... Yeah, not bad! That has never happened to me on this level before. Getting stuck in that weird hoop. That never happened to me before. Did <laughs> did it? Oh, God. You know, I actually do kind of miss this voice for Tails. What happened anyway? Like, I, I think Tails sounded better in the just crash like that. Like, I don't know. I think his voice is that weird. Was a test run using a new prototype in the, like, in, like, it's the newer generations. It, like, in this Why one, it makes sense because he sounds like tornado. a... He sounds like a... He sounds this, like a kid that you're supposed to. My power supply. Ta -da! I mean, it's not the best voice acting, but his voice sounds right for the character. Whoa! You know what I mean? A chaos it, the, it, it's, it's an odd yep. situation. It, it might just be nostalgia. It probably is. I'm not going to say it's definitively better, because I like... His new voice is okay. So I figured, why not use it to power my plane? Uh, any, either way, anything's better than the kid who voiced him in uh, Sonic you Heroes. Anything's better than Sonic. that. I've got something I've got to show you. It's in the Mystic Ruin. The fastest way is by train. Let's go! Why is there just a, a, a fucking train that takes you to these Mystic Ruins? Why, why does it just go there? I can now play as Tails, which is nice. I can also uh, take this elevator to the Chow Garden, but... I'm not gonna do that. I might use the Chow Garden editor in a stream if you guys want. Just mess around with that. But uh, we'll do that a lot later. I actually played this game on my channel before on YouTube. For the Mystic Ruins will be departing soon. And I got through all of Sonic Story on there. That was a long time ago. So I figure, hey, let's play through it again. It's about time. About that time. Okay, so this should be the Egg Hornet fight, if I'm remembering correctly. And then we gotta get the wind thing to go into the Windy Valley, to, because we figure <laughs> out he's getting uh, Chaos Emblems. Look, it's a giant talking egg! Fighting! <laughs> I am Dr. Robotnik, the greatest fighter! This is when they decided to call him the Eggman in the, uh, in the games, in the American Whatever games. Whatever you say, Eggman! Yeah, there we go. I love I Eggman. I this. big fan! Now, I'm gonna put them to work! Get no, a load of no this! Good. Now what do you want? I want all of the Chaos Emeralds! Better not interfere! Or else! Or else what? Or else what, you big loser? Exactly! Oh, burn! Sonic just door. got burn Hard on that way. egg! You just, you, somebody put him under a cold tap! Because he just got burned! Oh, that big loser line. <laughs> the fuck am I doing? Oh look, this is the dumbest fucking thing you've ever built. It's just jet boosters with drills on your normal fucking pod. Okay. Well, I will admit, I like the way the, like... Okay, this may not be impressive, but like, the Adventure Generation later, especially Sonic Heroes, came up with some great, and Shadow the Hedgehog as well, came up with some great designs for his new mechs. Like, the Egg Breaker looks really cool. And, well, the Egg Dealer is lame, but it's an interesting idea for a fight that wasn't executed properly. Those are both examples from Shadow the Hedgehog. I don't think those were in, uh, Sonic Heroes, but, um... Ah, shit! Uh, there was the, uh... The, um, 
the Egg Emperor was interesting. He's not gonna get away with this! I remember that all too well. I've played this game so many fucking times that, like, talking while playing this game isn't really difficult because I'm. It's second nature to me. So doing commentary is not difficult while playing this game. It, it, like this whole game is just second nature. I've played it so much. Hey, I'll play with you, you some, some other time. time. Da, 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 da. Man, I love Sonic. Like, don't get me wrong. I know that a lot of the games are trash, but but they're my trash. I still love this. I still love Sonic the Hedgehog as a character. I love the world that it's set up in this these games, which is kind of why I like the Adventure so Generation hard. so much, and still do. The characters are interesting, the world is oh, no! really cool, and I really hate that they kind of said we're going back to that, you know, in Sonic Forces, and they did not. Come on, Chaos. Time to eat. Chaos? Chaos? Yeah. I love Chaos. I wish he was playable in more games, because he's so cool. I wish he was just in more games. Oh, no. Isn't that the same monster I saw the other day? I mean, we kicked its ass. I think we can still take it. I think we can still take him. Oh yes! It's just as the stone tablets predicted. <laughs> I like how he just has one he's big JO arm. Every time I feed him a chaos That's his JO arm. He just oh, it just fucking it. finally got all that He'll muscle. Be invincible and work for me. Oh man. Together, we'll destroy Station Square. But why? And it's ruined. I'll build Robotnik there Land, we go. the ultimate city, where I will rule it all. Come With on, that Chaos, power, why let's find another emerald, shall we? With that power, why don't you just... Why don't you just destroy the world with that power? I don't know, what, what the fuck? Sonic, we can't let him get away with this, can we? No, no shit, we can't. Without more emeralds, the monster can't transform. So, it's up to us to get the emeralds before Eggman does, huh? Do -do -do -do. Yeah. I mean, that was kind of obvious, Tails. The, uh, thank you, Captain <laughs> Tails, obvious man. Oh, Jesus, no. Okay, um, there we go. The Windstone. I remember this game all too well. I think there are a few parts that lapse in my memory as far as what to do, but for the most part, I remember this game extremely well. I think after this is Casinoopolis, which, oh, uh, that level's a bit of a grind. So we're going to have a bit of trouble with that one. But let's go. I love, like, oh man, this game. Break it all, break it all! Oh yeah, get that fucking shield, boy! Okay, now that we got the electric shield, I don't think I need to tell you, because we already know what this does from Sonic 3. Yeah, magnetize them rings, get that sweet shit! Fifteen rings. Oh. <laughs> Thought you were too good for me, huh? Oh, oh, shit, shit! <laughs> oh, Sonic should have died there. But, yeah, apparently tornadoes can't kill Sonic. Head straight up. You should be able to get out of the tornado. Yeah, the wrath of nature cannot kill Sonic. This is why his franchise is still Jump going. On panel number one. Nothing it can kill Sonic. Panels two and three. Jump as soon as you land on a panel or the reason you'll Sonic's, fall. Yeah, the reason Sonic's franchise is still going is because he's fucking immortal. The, if the wrath of nature wants Sonic dead and can't kill him, what makes you think anything could kill that franchise? That's why his franchise is still going. This is why. Uh, I love this. Right. Right, somehow I missed, but... What? Here we go. Run, baby! Come on, Sonic. Adventure! Ho! Oh. 
it's sad that this is one of the only games I'm actually good, legitimately good at. There's very few games I'm legitimately good at. This is one of them. And I don't know how to feel about that, because I know this game isn't great. Like, I love it because of the nostalgic connection I have to it. You know what I mean? Like, I have a, a huge nostalgic connection to this game. So, of course, I love it. But I don't know how to feel about the fact that, you know... Okay, out, out, power... Okay. Oh, that almost ended badly. Oh! Oh, geez, Sonic, you okay? I looked like it might have given you a concussion. Whatever. Oh, man. Um, here's the issue. Once, like, Ice Camp is also a great level. Um, once we get to that, that'll be fine. Casinoopolis is okay. It, it's not great, it's just a pinball level where you have to you know, earn rings in order to get somewhere, and it's a bit of a grind, it's a bit of a slog, um, but it's fine, Twinkle Park is great, but then everything after that is where it starts to fall apart, uh, Sky Deck is terrible, I hate Sky Deck, it's one of the worst levels I've ever played, Yes. in any Sonic game, and, um, then there's, uh, what is it, What level was it? Oh yeah, uh, then there's uh, Lost World. That level sucks. Yeah, not bad. So much. I mean, it's not the worst. I guess it has some cool moments, but for the most part, it's a bad level. Um, the train headed for Station Square will be departing soon. And then you got fucking, uh, well, Red Mountain's okay. It's a fun level, but then it has these like weird Daddy Long Legs Spider things that creep me the fuck out. Even though they don't look that scary, they shouldn't, but they still do. It's the way they move. And I have to keep my eyes open to see where I'm going, so... So, I know that you can only get into Casinoopolis at night, so I wonder if it's going to be nighttime by the time we get to Station Square. No, it's not quite night yet. I forget what I have to do here. Shit. The casino's not open yet. So there's gotta be a cutscene I gotta find or something. Maybe it's where I find Amy? I doubt it. Ah. Okay. Well, let's just go around and find... No, you do find Amy at sunset, I think. Ah. No, no, no! I remember what I gotta do. Okay. Yeah, I gotta go into the sewer, and I gotta get the, uh, the... the light speed shoes. Which, I don't know why someone threw them into the sewer. But yeah, I need these to do the light speed dash so I can open the casino level. Now but, you've got light speed shoes. I know an optional Press thing I can get before that. To store up power. Once you have enough power, release the button and you can do the light speed dash. Yeah, I'm not the gonna... Light speed dash shut the fuck up, Tricol. Oh wait, I'm not as supposed to know that that's Tricol yet. You can go just about Whatever, anywhere. I'll play this game before. Shut the fuck up. Okay, so I know an optional item I can get. You don't even have to get it to beat the game. But you can get it right now, as soon as you get the light speed dash thing. And because it makes your light speed dash quicker, it's just useful to get as soon as you can. That's Hey! How are you? I don't use the back door. That goes to my secret sewer entrance where I dump my bodies. I mean, uh. Yeah, where I dump the bodies. Doesn't even try to hide it. Okay. So, yeah. I believe I have to go in. No, no, no. Not, not there. It's in the hotel. Let's go to the hotel, hotel and take a nice minute and a nap. So what I have to do is get the rings to appear, and also open the door, and then go like that, and then get in, get in, ah, shit. Okay, I fucked that one up. But yeah, we can just grab that. Which, I discovered this when I was a kid around this same point in the game. Actually, I was exploring around before this, and I got to this, because I, you know. So, you know, I saw this part. 
and was like, oh shit, well I need something to get through there. And then when it said, oh, light speed dash, you can do it along the trail rings, this I found this. This is the crystal ring. Oh. This reduces the time needed to store power for the light speed dash. It makes it so much better. Like, the light speed dash is useless regardless. But when you get the light speed dash attack, which is necessary, this, um, store up the time for it makes things so much better. But I think Sonic Adventure 2 handled the light speed dash better anyway. Yeah. Sonic Adventure 2 handled the light speed dash better anyway, because with them. The train headed for the Mystic Ruins will be departing soon. Uh, there we go. But yeah, like. Like, because in that game, you don't need to uh, save up. Uh, to charge up the light speed dash. Oh, dear God, I hurt, sh I hurt Tails. Okay, so there's pinball here, which is fine. I gotta stack up enough coins in the vault. I don't know exactly how much I need. Because the game doesn't tell you. So I usually get up like 200 and go in there. Because I think that's the amount you actually need. I'm not sure, though. But le anyway, let's go in here. So Sonic hasn't had a shower in a while. Tails, stop watching, you pervert! You... You dirty perv. Watching Sonic shower like this. Which, by the way, I can't move Sonic right now. Yeah, I had to press a button to get him to stop showering. I kind of like how that's just a thing. That's cute attention to detail, but like... What does it really matter? Okay, so there's a Knight's Pinball and a Sonic Pinball. I'm, we're going with Sonic. Which is kind of funny, because it uses only classic Sonic artwork. Okay, um... Yeah, I, I don't think I can control specifically one flip at a time. No, yeah, I can. Okay. I know you can also try to tilt the machine. Oh yeah, there we go. I love the music. This game is awesome, but... Boom. 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 Boom! Hey! We got the o -nos. We got the triple o -nos. Triple Nucks! Triple Knuckles. Knuckles. Go in! Go in the hole! Go in the hole, you dirty hedgehog! Ew. Sounded very wrong. Well, that, that ended miserably. Woo! You can't even really call this simulated gambling at all. Because it's not. There's a casino, but there's no actual gambling. You're just playing pinball. Oh yeah, we got the rings. That did absolutely nothing. <laughs> I forget what Amy's does, but I do like how it shows her classic look. More rings, it does absolutely nothing. I know that if you, um, if you leave here with no rings, like, if you just lose the game without getting any rings, it just tosses you into a fucking sewer or something. It's weird. Ah, shit. Okay, so we got one ball left. We're a freak. Let's see here. We got this. We got this. Yeah! Come on, let's go. Huh. You know, I actually miss pinball machines. Yeah, you know, I remember my first introduction to a real pinball machine, the South Park Pinball. And I love that game. That was fun. I actually got the I actually um, got the high score once on that. When I was a real little kid. And then this, uh, the guy before me playing it, who was older, he was like a teenager. 
was playing the game, and he uh, he got like the high score, right? Like just then, he was like, "Oh yeah, I'm that." And so this little kid, me, comes in and is asking if he can have a turn playing it, you know? And you know, I do. Ah, oh, sweet. And so I am able to play it, and uh, I end up immediately beating his score, just immediately in that one one time, and I do it. <laughs> <laughs> Which is kind of funny, because after that, he starts playing the game again, and I, like, I spend the rest of my time... It's, I forget where I was at this point, but like, he's just playing it, and as I'm leaving, like uh, like 30 minutes later, he's still on the fucking game trying to beat my score. <laughs> so he's just like so humiliated that a little kid at the time beat him. Which was so fucking funny. I'm looking back at it now, I didn't think about it at the time. Aw, oh, man. That was close to being something good. Oh. We got no balls left. This is our last ball. And it's gone. And it's gone! So we got 291. I think we have enough to beat the level right now. But uh, just to be safe, I have a plan. And there we go! That 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 is a definite win to the level. There's no fucking way 301 rings isn't gonna be enough. Which by the way, when they come out, they look like coins. Watch. Are you fucking shitting me? This isn't even enough. Yeah, it's like 500 or something, isn't it? Oh my god, we don't have enough to get out of here. Uh, see what I mean when I say this level's a slog? We've been going on for six minutes in just this one level. I think if I lose right now, I go to the fucking actual fun level part that you don't get to do otherwise unless you're, you're going through Tails' story. Like, and you could just do this whole level without ever getting to that part. It's more fun to be able to go through it as Tails. But no, I can't consider myself that lucky. Alright, come on. Uh. Oh, great! That, that, that made me lose my balls. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. Uh, so how's the chat doing right now? I mean, if anyone ever wants to chat, just say something, because dear god, this is boring. Oh, here's the sewer part! I didn't make enough money, apparently, to stay alive. No, I need the money! Oh! going so well, and now I just gotta go through the air vents looking for bitches. Alright, cool. 85 rings. This level's never easily easy to go through in a timely manner. Which is kind of the reason I don't like it all that much. It's a bit of a slog. It's not all that fun. Whoa, what the fuck? What, what, what is that? 
I don't remember ever seeing that before. Okay, let's take a shower because uh, we were just in the sewer, basically. And uh, yeah, we need to shower that off. Let's go in and lose our rings. Uh, camera? <laughs> Thank you. That was, uh, that was strange. I've also never experienced that before. Okay, I think we might have enough now. There we go. Yes. Oh, jeez. Total score, none. Don't care. Yeah, not bad. We got it. Uh, I... <sighs> okay, ice cap. Good. Because this level is actually good. Ice cap's a decent level. Yeah! Hey! Oh no, the Chaos Emerald! Oh no, you don't! Oh, jeez! <laughs> Eggman! Eggman! Mmm, eggs. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> well, I have a cheesecake oh, saved for man. later, which I'll have when what I What happened have... to that emerald we just had? What do you think happened? Uh, I guess Eggman's got one of them, but the other one's safe. That guy must be desperate. That means his two to R1, and that's not good. Come yeah, on, Tails, Sonic, Tails, we, we can math. Busy. You don't need an IQ of 300 for math, Tails. Also, Cream the Rabbit, but uh, apparently on the Steam version, she glitches out like that. But that's kind of funny, because she was only thrown in here in the Sonic Adventure DX version for GameCube and stuff, because um, by this point, Sonic Advent... By this point, Sonic Advance 2 had already come out. Which is kind of funny. So they just threw Cream the Rabbit in here. For no reason. Like, she's not even available as a hidden story after you do anything. Well, I gotta take this, uh, ice the cream. Headed for the Mystic Ruins will be I remember as a kid, I was dumb enough where this took me forever to figure out. But I'm just supposed to take the ice cube into the train, and it comes with me over to here. And then I gotta go into that cave with it. I, yeah, uh, I know. It tells you that, too. And, like, like, I know that it tells you that it's, like, meant for that. And yet, you're still, you're still, like, oh. And I was still, like, oh. Yeah, I, I, I guess I'm dumb. Because I was a dumb. Okay. I'm gonna have to change some settings later, because I don't think you guys are seeing this. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of screen tearing, because I don't have B-Sync on. <laughs> Just a lot of screen tearing right now. Oh, man. I actually love the design of this game, too. Like, a lot of, like, the areas and stuff are really interestingly designed. I feel like if this game got an HD remaster, so that it was, like, completely redone. I feel like this game would look amazing in an HD remaster. Like, like with the newer graphics, that would look great. I feel like that's, like, well, the other stuff hasn't aged well, that would look great. Even if you're frozen, jump a couple of times, and you should be able to crack through. Okay, this level's okay at first, but it really kicks off at the end. Like, it's okay, it's passable. Out of the early parts, like this. Oh, but at the end of the level, it's just so good. It's like a throwback to Sonic 3, actually. Because this is apparently supposed to be the same ice cap zone that was in Sonic 3. Apparently. Much like how, um... Uh, the... Thing from, uh... uh Metropolis from Sonic... From Sonic Forces is supposed to be Metropolis zone from Sonic 1. So... Yeah, I, it's weird that a lot of these don't quite add up to that, but hey. Also, uh, a lot of people don't know this. There's a trick to the Big the Cat fishing levels. If you press two specific buttons at the same time, right as Froggy bites onto the 
thing, you immediately get a hit every time. So you don't gotta wait. You don't gotta wait. There's a specific button combo you can do that with. A lot of people don't know this. In fact, I didn't know it as a kid, because there's no way you would. Um, but it's something you gotta figure out. But it, it works. It really works every time if you time it right. It's fucking amazing that I never knew this as a kid. It's also irritating that I never knew that as a kid, because that just... It really makes things uh, frustrating. Mmm, those sweet rings. Come on. Like, a lot of people say 3D Sonic games aren't good at all. I respectfully disagree. I think that uh, they have a lot their fair share of problems. I don't think that's because Sonic doesn't work in 3D, though. I think it's more in the execution of how it's done. Because, uh, for example, it's Sonic Generations, Modern Sonic was done perfectly in that. Like, that is... Like, people say Modern Sonic isn't good. Play Generations Modern Sonic levels. Those are amazing. In fact, far better than the classic levels in that. I'd rather play Modern Sonic done right than Use Classic Sonic any jump. day. It may even help guide your way. That it did! Alright, let's go. Okay, here we go. Here's the good part, I think. Yeah, here's the good part. Here's the good part. Oh, let's go. Kick up the music. Kick up the jams. Yeah! Let's go. Get that guitar revving. Playing. Whatever. Yeah! I love this. Oh, this is so cool. Being chased by an avalanche while you're just snowboarding down a mountain. Oh, it's so cool. And the whole snowboarding down an ice cap thing is supposed to be that this is like a throwback to ice cap zone in Sonic 3. Which I just love. This Sonic and Knuckles, uh, again, I played that right before this, and Sonic and Knuckles was one of my favorite Sonic games growing up. It was that and this, actually. And, oh man, such big parts of my childhood. Because I played Sonic and Knuckles on a CD-ROM for the PC. We got like a, I forget, it was like a Toys R Us or something, and we got like a huge pack of them. Like, there was a huge pack of them available, of just Sonic games, and they were all classic Sonic games, just there. Uh, one of them was Mean Bean Machine, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. I don't remember what it was, because I got several packs of those yeah. things. So I don't remember what the hell was in some of them. I know that Sonic 3 and Knuckles and Sonic 2 were in them, and I mostly played... No, it wasn't Sonic 3 and Knuckles, it was actually just Sonic and Knuckles. There was no Sonic 3, so it was just Sonic and Knuckles. So yeah, and also that one didn't have the kick-ass soundtrack from the original, because I, I don't think it did anyway. I don't remember. God, I, I haven't played that one in so long. However, one of the things was Sonic 3D Blast, and I hated that one. I still do. Sonic 3D Blast is garbage, and you cannot change my mind on that. It is absolute garbage. But still, Sonic Labyrinth is still the worst Sonic game. Like, you could say it's Sonic 06, and, or you could say it's like, Sonic Boom, no way. Sonic Labyrinth yes. is far worse than any of those. That's not to say the other two are good, they're not. Sonic Labyrinth is just that bad. But whatever. Point is, did Ice Cap, had some fun, snowboarded down a mountain like a badass. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. Ah. I'll likely be putting these live streams on my channel. I don't know how far we're gonna get, cause um, I think after this is the uh, Knuckles level. I don't know how long I've been playing. The train headed for Station Square will so, be departing soon. I should probably set a you know stopwatch to keep track of this shit next time. I think this is the next part of the Knuckles fight. Yeah. Oh, we're about to hear some oh no's, baby. Oh yeah, Knuckles' is theme. What's Here I come, Knuckles? Knuckles and the rest of them, the best of them, tougher than Knuckles. Something oh yeah, you? this is nice. No time for game, Sonic. <laughs> Give me the emeralds you have right now. Oh, that voice acting so bad. We're about to hear the what? oh no's though. Let's just see you. We're about to hear the oh no's. Can we get some oh no's down in the comments for later on YouTube? Can we get some oh no's for Knuckles. 
Oh no. One one like equals one. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Give Love it your best shot. Give it your oh, best no. shot. Oh no. Give it your best shot. Oh no. Uh, oh. oh no. The Chaos Emeralds. Ah, <laughs> uh, Eggman. Oh, ha, like taking candy from a baby. That sounds like a great idea. I'll do that right after my evil plan. That's a chaos emerald. Oh no, shit, Sherlock. That's right, fool. You made it all too easy. You practically gave them to me. Wah, wah. Hold it right there, creep. You can't get away with this. Knuckles, don't tell me Eggman tricked you again. Me? What about you? Way to go, you wasn't Knucklehead. Tricked. You were tricked, Knuckles. You, that's it, with your fucking now Lego I shoes. Have four lovely emeralds. Chaos! Oh boy. I know that Knuckles fights Chaos prior to this in that form. But you never fight his first form, and we never see his three emerald These form. Are for you, my Wait, I don't think there's any even images of that. Is there any concept art officially in existence for what his third form is? I want to know. I want to know what his third oh, emerald form is supposed to be like. Man, no one ever cuts us any slack. What, what does his third emerald form look like? I don't think that's ever been shown anywhere. Oh, I remember I hated this boss fight as a kid. It's not that hard, but it's like, as a kid, I had a lot of trouble with it. Yeah, you just gotta fucking hit him when he surfaces. It's like, super easy to avoid him. I'd argue the Knuckles fight against his two, uh... Against his two Emerald form is a lot harder than this. I actually can't wait until we get to Omega. I mean, not Omega, Gamma. Because his stuff, his game, like, his gameplay, I'm going to be playing this in order, like, most likely, unless I get suggested to play him out of order. I'm going to play the stories in order. But, um, Sonic's story is longer than the others, so I might have to split this into multiple streams. You know what I mean? I might actually have to, uh, Split this one into multiple, into two different streams, because his story is longer. So I don't know what we're gonna end up doing. We might just do a. I might uh, cut this up. We don't know. I don't know though. This is, we're actually nearing the end of his story, to be fair. But uh, I think I'll stop after a certain point. I don't want these streams to be as long as my uh, Spider-Man streams were. On surface, you fucking shark bitch! Shark bitch and lava bitch! Surface in the water, you fucking cunt! So I can smack your taint. I wanna. I, surface in the water so I can smack your cloaca around, you hey, piece I'll of shit. You some other time. Got it. I could probably do like one, two more levels before ending this stream and starting a new one uh, later. Because I don't want to stream this game for too long. Like, I'll, I'll split this up. But uh, here we go. We got the egg carrier. I fucking love this egg carrier. It looks so cool. At least it did when I was a kid. I don't know how many people would think it's still cool, but I love it. My floating less so there. Is that is less cool. This game looks so much better in my memory every time I play it. It looks better in my memory than it does act in actuality. Look at this. I love that egg carrier theme, by the way. Okay, so for Sonic's story, what we have left, let me think hey, about it in my head first. Away. Let's get to my workshop and we'll take the tornado. So we got yeah. Sky Chase Act 1. You guys go. Uh, which is right now. 
I have some unfinished business to take care of. Then I think we get hit in the head no or something. No problem, Knuckles. We'll take care of everything here. And then we gotta go, uh... Come on! Let's get going! And then where we have to go after that... Um... Is, uh, we gotta go to Red Mountain after that. That's right. And then we go to Sky Chase Act 2. And then it's, uh... Sky Deck. Then, uh, the... The E-102 fight. Which, then it should be Chaos 6. And then the last level and the final boss for Sonic Story. So I think we'll do Sky Chase Act 1 and then we'll just end it. The stream, because we're good on that. Let's talk to Knuckles first. What's the matter? What are you waiting for? You know, good point, Knuckles. I'll see you later. Oh yeah, that's right, Lost World. We need to do that level too. I don't know when that is, though. I don't remember. I think that's after, uh... Sonic! Wait here for a second! I think that's immediately... Yeah, that's after the, uh... The Eggman stuff. Um, right before the final level and final boss with him. Yeah, I still think it's a good idea to just end it after Sky Chase Act 1. I think that'll be a good note. Just because we'll get a good laugh. I like this. See, this is the kind of stuff I miss. This shit. Like, god damn it, they were just... Like, as, this game may not be perfect, but it has so many cool moments. Tails has moments to shine and actually look cool. He gets uh, actually good character development in this game. Something you can't say Sonic, for other... For the modern generation, which destroyed his character development he got in this game. Uh, it tossed it out the window. In fact, it tossed most characters' development out the window. Which I didn't like. The early modern generation kept it going. At least, I can say for that. Sonic Rivals kept it and tried to keep going with this style. But once we get into, like, Sonic uh, Unleashed and Sonic Colors, it destroyed what I loved about the characters. Jeez. Okay. It's not like we're really doing much. Kaboom, boom, boom. I didn't know that the, the torn prior to this I didn't know the tornado had such heavy artillery. Actually what's funny is similarly to Pokemon, I watched the cartoons of Sonic before playing the games. It's, which is also my in introduction to Pokemon. I saw the first movie before I even played any of the games. And saw the anime a lot before I played the games. That was my introduction to Pokemon as a kid. I remember not playing a game of Pokemon until a friend of mine had beaten the game already and just gave me his copy of Leaf Green. And that was my introduction to Pokemon. <laughs> oh boy. Which, I, I love Pokemon. I actually, despite it not being like the, uh, the core games of the series, I like the, uh, I, I can't wait for Pokemon Let's Go, uh, Eevee and Pikachu. I'm definitely getting Pikachu. Because I'm mainly getting Pikachu because, well, A, I like Pikachu a lot, but while I love Eevee, uh, my girlfriend likes Eevee more, and she's getting that version, so we're both getting, uh, alternate versions of the game. Which is kind of what we did with Sun and Moon, actually. Like, I got Pokemon Moon, because she likes, uh, she likes Sogalio, because she she thinks lions are awesome. I do too, believe it or not. But I like uh, Lunala because I like the whole purple and the dark and purple aesthetic to it. So Pokemon Moon was what I got, and she got Pokemon Sun. Which was kind of cool. That's kind of what we've done, actually, as far as Pokemon games. We both just. It's kind of cool when you have someone like that where you can both get the alternate versions we and trade everything it. you need to each Way other. To go, Tails. Which is nice. And also. I just want to give my Pikachu that spiky hair, like that Rockstar Pikachu, like the, not the Rockstar, but you know the the Pikachu that that Rock, the the tar playing guy you had in that one episode of the anime. I want that on my Pikachu. Uh oh. Da 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 da. 
Jesus, that is one hell of a tailspin. <laughs> that sound effect always gets me. It sounds like a fucking 1980s arcade game. It sounds like fucking good like it would be Sir to Galaga. What Tails? the fuck is that shit doing Tails. in here? <laughs> it's an early, it's like a fucking early 80s arcade game. There's fuck and like an early to mid 80s yeah, you're arcade game. For? This is fucking hilarious. Oh my god, it's like some fucking oh, Galaga shit. Okay. Oh, that sound effect is so bad. Who what the fuck was that little girl, by the way? Who was she? Oh no, I think it's Twinkle Park next. That's right, I forgot to factor in Twinkle Park. I think we meet Amy back in there. In the city, yeah, because sunset. And then we, uh... And then we, she tags along and we go to Twinkle Park. And then we do that level. I think. Shit, I don't remember. Let's talk to Tikal. We might actually... Yeah, I thought that was... Let's see. Why don't you try going to the casino? Yeah, that's why. Okay. Yeah, you know what? We'll do Twinkle Park before we end it. I wonder what the point I can talk to Big is. I know there'll be a point in Sonic Story where Big's like right around here. Or something. I don't know where that is. Sonic, wait up! Oh wait, no, you meet Big anyway at the end during the last Long part. time so no what the see. fuck? Uh, uh Amy. What's wrong with you anyway? Yeah. So we gotta Listen, this birdie seems to be in trouble. So you need to be his bodyguard for a while. You must be kidding! No. If you don't, we're just gonna tag along anyway. Oh, great. The stalker stalks me with a bird this time. <sighs> like, actually, you know, it's funny, because even as a kid, I kind of felt like there was something off and creepy about Amy. Because she's just a fucking stalker. And it's a little creepy. I mean, honestly, they didn't go full stalker with it. That's a thing. Yeah, we gotta... Let's do Twinkle Park first. Oh, look, it's Zero! That's the name of that robot. Ah, Believe it or not, I didn't know about know this. No that Please I didn't know this until looking it up. That's E101. That's E100 Alpha. Whoa. Yeah. Because um, oh, Beta no. is E101, and then Gamma huh? is E102, the one we play as in this game. That one that's chasing Amy is E101 Alpha. I mean E100 oh, no. Alpha. Which we never, which we never really get the idea of that. It just says zero, Amy, but but he's supposed to be the first model of the E100 oh, line, man. which is interesting. That girl is such a pain because he looks nothing like all the other E100 lines. Because even the last one in the E100 line, Omega, he shows some design similarities to that of uh, Gamma and Beta. He doesn't like Alpha. Really has nothing similar. Zero has nothing. Which, I didn't know that for the longest fucking time until I looked it up. Like, what the fuck, if, if they ever actually announced what it was. No, but it was that. I want to drive the bumper cars. Give me the fucking cars. Okay, let's go in the blue one for Sonic. Yeah! Oh, I love this. I love this part of the game. It's so fun. Twinkle Park is still one of my favorite levels in this game. Because look at this. Who doesn't love this? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Look at that. We're just riding around a bumper car on a fucking space race track. It's awesome. What a way to enter a theme park, too. I hope this is just the standard entrance after you show your ticket. No. <laughs> Sonic just explodes. <laughs> that is funny. Okay, so here's the thing. There's a time trial you have to do is this, I think, is every character in order to actually get an emblem for each of them, so. Let's go with the black one this time. What's funny is, okay, after I played this game as a kid, I then played uh, Sonic uh, Heroes before I played Sonic 2. Just a little fun fact about how I, never, I didn't play these games in order. So my first introduction to Shadow was Sonic 
with Sonic Heroes. And then I played Sonic Battle for the Game Boy Advance, which, oh my god, I love that game. So, c going back to Sonic Ad Adventure 2 was kind of like going through an origin story for a character I was already used to. Oh, God, sometimes you don't make that jump. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, f another fun fact, Vic the Cat in this game is, uh, is voiced by the same guy who does the voice of Duke Nukem. I'm gonna break a broom handle off in your ass. Just fucking, just picture Big dressed as Duke Nukem. Oh, oh, that's, that's a cursed image right there. That's a cursed image. Oh. Oh, jeez. Alright, let's keep going. Woohoo! I love this. And then we just... Yeah! I'm on a roller coaster. This was a cool way to start off this level. Look at that. Bumper cars onto a roller coaster into the real level. So this was cool. This is the kind of shit, uh... This is the kind of shit that made me love Sonic uh, Adventures. Yeah. After this, I'm going to be ending the stream, though. Huh. Oh, God. See, those jelly rabbits still creep the hell out of me. They did as a kid, and they still kind of do. Oh, look. This. Oh, sweet. We got 17 lives. Because I'm actually good at this game. Yeah, like, a lot of people, when they play this game now and try to say that it sucks, they're complaining about all sorts of glitches and stuff. I'm like, look at what I'm doing. This really isn't that hard. I don't see what everyone's problem is. Like, how is this any bit difficult? Why is it people like fucking, like, they, on YouTube can fucking game over in this game a million times? Like, they just suck at the game and they don't want to admit it. I think overall, yeah, this game has problems. It's not that bad, though. It's not like that. Like how everyone wants to make it seem like nowadays. Because it isn't. It isn't even close. These people who, on YouTube who claim that it's bad, they just suck at the game. Yeah. 100%. Look, I've played this game so many times. Or maybe I've just played this game so many times I'm used to all the glitches. But either way, it cannot be that hard if I'm able to just do this and, you know, get through the game with what? Having lost one life due to any glitch? So it's not glitches that are causing them to lose their lives or bad controls. It's just them being dumb and bad at the game. Try telling that to Aaron Hansen, though. <laughs> He's gonna be like, no, it's broken! Nah, you're just really bad at this game. I can do commentary and play this game. No problem. So, uh, maybe I'm just really good at this one game. Who knows? Which I am. I know I'm actually good at this game. That's one of the few games I'm good at. Whatever. Yeah, not bad. We did that. I think I'm gonna end the stream after this, though. Because I gotta go to the Mystic Ruins. I think I gotta go Welcome to Red to Mountain. Twinkle Park. Oh, shoot! I've lost Amy. We only had her for, I like, bet five that minutes. I hauled butt after her. I'd better catch her before it does. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's just, uh... Let's just find out where she is first. Nope! Nope! Okay, there's another level after this that I also forgot about. Which is odd, because it's my, act my, my favorite level in the whole game. But we'll save that for next stream. Because it is my favorite level in the whole game. And I want to wait on that part. Because this was also... It was remade in, in uh, Sonic Generations and is my favorite level in that game. It's so fucking good. Um, and we'll get to that in a second. For now. Thank you guys for watching. I'm ending the stream. 
Uh, might come back later today. I have no idea. This station must be the center of the city. Really, Sonic? Astute observation. All right, so see you guys next time a stream, which will be soon, if not tomorrow. Hopefully, maybe. I don't know.